What's up everybody? Coming back at you with another pickup video. It's been a little while since I've been able to do anything. School has been kicking my butt uh, with finals and everything. So I've just been really busy. So I apologize for that. But school's over. Finals are over. So I definitely have a lot more time to play around on this channel now. I got a few things in store real soon. Mega Man Cave uh, has tagged me to do five games. If I could only play five games for the rest of my life, what five games would they be? So hopefully that'll be the next video I do after this one. Uh, Mr. DSBX Finest, he wants me to do a collection video. As soon as Christmas is over, I will do that. My trees over here and presents and stuff are in the way. So I can't get to everything because a lot of my stuff is over here in the corner and I'm going to wait till the tree's down and I have room to play around. So uh, I'll do a collection video after Christmas. And that's really about it for right now. i got a lot of pickups from over the past two weeks I want to show you. So I'm just going to jump into it. i got some diving finds I'm going to show you first. <clears throat> uh, all these came from like two weeks ago. Uh, we've had a huge snowstorm on and off for the past couple weeks so I haven't been able to find a whole lot because snow has ruined it but I do have a few things I, I took all my loose PlayStation 2 cases that I found uh, diving I had like 15 cases complete with manuals they just were missing the games I traded those in at the flea market today and got some trading value from my buddy who sells games there <coughs> But I'll show you what I do have that I've held on to so far. I found a bunch of these <clears throat> game add-on things. There's one for Modern Warfare, uh, one for Borderlands. I got a bunch of these. <clears throat> I figured I could do something with them. Got an Xbox 360 manual and warranty thing. Uh, still complete. <clears throat> And I got a whole bunch of the promotional only uh, artworks, uh, Disney's Channel Stars, NC fo NCAA Football 11, uh, Halo Reach, I think I got some uh, Gran Turismo 5s, there's like 10 or 12 of all of these in here. I got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Uh, some more NCAA football, some uh, EA Sports MMA, uh, Toy Story 3 for the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. The Toy Story was for the uh, DS. And then I got some NBA Jam, so all kinds of artworks. I think my wife was going to do like a, make a collage or something. To hang on the wall with those, just some blank cases in here, and then I got the Mario box again, so I got two of these. Really cool for storing stuff. <clears throat> and then I got that Epic Miss, Epic Mickey poster that's on the back. I uh, found that as well, diving. And then I got this Assassin's Creed Brotherhood poster. It was laying in the snow. So it does have a little bit of damage to it, but it's not horrible, I guess. But uh, <clears throat> still pretty sweet. This thing is huge. So I'm probably going to give this to my brother-in-law as a part of his Christmas gift because he has a game room as well. And I really just don't have anywhere to put it right now. So next we'll go to... Uh, what all I bought this over the past couple weeks, I bought Assassin's Creed for the PlayStation 3. I've been wanting to get into the Assassin's Creed games for a while, but I've been waiting on them to go down in price, as I do with most uh, PlayStation 3 games. So I bought this, I think it was 20 bucks. It is the greatest hits, which kind of sucks, but it doesn't bother me a whole lot because I'm not collecting for the PlayStation 3 all that much, but I will look for the original copy down the road <clears throat> to replace this one, but for right now, the greatest hits does fine. 
I've played, I've play, got a few hours worth of work into this so far, and uh, it's a great game. I love it, so I definitely can't wait to beat it and then get the second one, and then after I get the second one, I'll play Brotherhood, <clears throat> but definitely going to wait for it to go down in price. Um, next, I got some freebies my buddy at the flea market uh, gave me. Gave me a little holder thing. It'll hold some NES cartridges. So... That's all right. Nothing special. And he gave me an Atari uh, case holder, and uh, it'll hold quite a few Atari games. But again, nothing really, really special. And then this this one's pretty cool. It is a Nintendo holder. I think it holds the Super Nintendo. Um, you would, I guess you would put your Super Nintendo right here, and then you got some spots for some games. You got nine places back here to hold games. You take this off, you got more room to hold games in here. So that's pretty sweet. And uh, he just gave it to me for free, so can't go wrong with free stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Also found a couple games uh, while I was diving. Um, I found these diving as well. Uh, so I got aggressive inline for the GameCube. Uh, it looks like it's a little scratched up, but I should be able to buff it out and get it to work. And then ATV Off-Road Fury 2. And that is complete as well. It's not in too bad a shape. I mean... I've got some games that look a little worse than that that a friend of mine gave me a while back, and they still play, so I'll buff these out. should be able to get these to play, so. Oh, Captain 85 Kurt is always finding games in his fine, in his dumpster dives. I, this is the first time I actually found any games, so definitely happy about that. A buddy of mine gave me a Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Uh... He already had a copy, and somebody bought it for him, so he gave it to me, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get on with the stuff I got at the flea market over the last couple weeks. I got Animaniacs, a Konami game, and a uh, pretty, pretty fun game. I've played a little bit of it. All of these have a signature on the back, which I can get off with a magic eraser. I just haven't had the time to sit down and clean them up yet. I got another Konami game, Tiny Toon Adventures, uh, Buster Bust Loose, same thing on the back, uh, NFL Football, didn't have it, it was just a sports game that I didn't have, so I'll throw it on there, I got uh, All Real Monsters, uh, definitely love the old Nicktoons, and All Real Monsters was definitely one of my favorites. And then the Jungle Book, uh, fun game, definitely like the Disney games, so same signature on the back. There is a little bit of damage right here, but I have this complete for the Genesis, so now I have a copy for Super Nintendo. <clears throat> and then I got Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. Not much needs to be said about this game, uh, great game. Uh, Kefka 14. Uh, a good friend of mine on here on YouTube sent me Donkey Kong Country, the first one. So now I got the second one. Then, uh, actually, I'll go ahead and show you this. I got a uh, Game Boy Pocket, <coughs> which is really cool. I haven't got a Game Boy Pocket yet. And then I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, back from the sewers on the inside. I ain't going to take it out. But this thing powers on and works perfect, so definitely pretty cool to finally uh, pick up a Game Boy Pocket. These things are pretty sweet. I never had a Game Boy Pocket growing up, so I'll try to get this turned on a little bit, let you see that it's working just fine. So that's pretty cool. And of course I'm going to get a phone call right now. Yeah. I will silence that for a second. <clears throat> and then I got some NES games. I got Ikari Warriors, Great Condition, 
Tiny Toon Adventures 2, Trouble in Whackland, uh, another Konami title. Uh, definitely like the first uh, Tiny Toon Adventures on NES, so happy to grab the second one. Now I got Mega Man 4 and Mega Man 3. Uh, Mega Man 4 does have some writing down the side, and it's tore a little on the back. And Mega Man 3, I guess somebody spray painted it. I don't know why in the world you would do that. But, whatever. I don't know if there's any way I can get that off. So, But, oh well. I did get a couple Mega Man games, so that's pretty cool. And then, uh, got some Genesis games here boxed. Got Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. Wee Willy Winky is broke off, but <clears throat> the case itself is in great shape. You see, it's real stiff, almost like it's never been opened before. But uh, this is a horrible game, but it does have a bonus gameplay on it where you can do the uh, arcade original Pac-Man. So that's pretty cool, but this game sucks. But uh, next, I got Twin Cobra. Uh, Desert Attack Helicopter. It's an overhead shooter, it looks like. I love shooters for the Genesis, so definitely happy to pick this game up and give it a shot. <laughs> it is complete, and everything inside looks mint. Uh, it looks like it's hardly ever been touched, so definitely happy to pick that up. And then a game I've been looking for for a while is Hellfire on the Sega Genesis. And uh, it is a side-scrolling shooter, I believe, and it is uh, really good condition. It's got the Wee Willy Winky and stuff on it, and it's in great shape as well. So uh, almost looks like it's never been played as well, except for just a tiny bend in the book. But uh, definitely happy to pick Hellfire up and give that a shot. <coughs> And that's about it for everything I picked up over the last few weeks. I want to try to end this real soon. Uh, I've been getting sick, and so uh, my voice tends to want to go out on me right now. But I definitely have more videos planned. I plan on posting a little more regularly now that school's over. Uh, I have a package to 8-Bit Goomba and M Cruise 24. I'm going to send those out Monday. If I can't do it Monday, I will send them out Tuesday, but I don't see any reason why I can't get them out Monday. <clears throat> there shouldn't be any snow issues. And uh, I'll do unpack unpackaging of those when I get their packages to me. And that's about it. i got a collection video after Christmas, and then hopefully the next video I put up will be the five games I would play for the rest of my life. So that's about it for now I know I'm probably running really late I don't want to you know keep rambling and take up too much time so that's about it for now uh, hopefully you will see me a little more regularly now thanks to all my new subscribers I got a ton of new subscribers over the past couple weeks so thanks a lot guys I'm like 11 subs away from hitting 200 so if I hit 200 there will be another contest video so just keep an eye out for that and uh, that's about it. So I will see you all later and uh, take care and have a great day, everyone.